All right, we're here at the West Creek Reservation, the WQIS team. And uh, Seth, can you give us an idea of what we're doing here today? Yeah, uh, we're going to do a survey to determine what kind of fish are present in, in West Creek. And then by looking at what fish, we can tell if the water is clean or dirty. How often do you do these surveys? Well, we do them every year. We try to get uh, two to three passes each time we go out. So you're waiting for fish to come by? No, what we're going to do is this is a kind of a, a it's called long line electroshocking and it's an active type of uh, of uh, fishing, it's not passive, like okay. some of your netting and things like that. This is where you actually go through the fish and put an electrical current in the water. Right now I'm holding the anode pole and this little switch actually uh, generates the electricity through the pole and into the water. Basically, you have a person shocking with the anode pole and a net or scoop up the fish as you're uh, shocking in the water. So we're just going to actually act actively move through the water and uh, put the current in the water. It's just basically stunning the fish. How far does the shock go from the pole? A couple feet? Or, uh, um, it depends. Um, maybe about a foot or so. If I put my finger in the water, would I feel it? I'm not going to. Maybe. Yeah. I think I've got more foliage than fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my little spider. 38 creek chubs. What can you tell us about today's findings in West uh, Creek? Uh, well, we have to go back now and calculate an index of biotic, biotic integrity score, which is what Ohio EPA uses to evaluate the site. And I think it'll probably score in the fair range based on what we found.